Hello and welcome to Radical Living. I'm your host, Shoeless Joe, and today we are talking about Christmas decorations. Put up the tree before my spirit falls again. Tis the season to deck your halls, but as radical livers and intentional thinkers, we must question why. Why do we deck our halls with ribbons and trinkets? I mean, what's the point? And is it worth it? There seems to be an expectation that the minute Thanksgiving is done, you better have a tree up in your living room and lights covering your house inside and out and trinkets everywhere. Well, I say fooey. We're not going to decorate because everyone else thinks we should. We're going to decorate only as much as we want to. Now, obviously, this is going to be different for every person. Some people might actually enjoy putting up all of these decorations and really think it's worth it. It brings joy to their hearts. While others might think of it just as a headache and a hassle and something they don't want to go through, it doesn't bring them any joy. And that's a problem. Christmas should bring joy to your heart, and you should celebrate it in a way that does that. If you think decorating for Christmas sucks, hey, guess what? Don't do it. I've checked. There's no laws that say that you have to decorate for Christmas. I haven't actually checked. For me, it brings me joy to focus more on spending time with my family than spending time on putting crap up and taking crap down. It's important to take time and question this. Just think about who are you decorating for? Are you decorating for you, a spouse, a child, extended family that's coming over? If you're decorating for other people, then that's a problem because you should be decorating your home so that it suits you. You're the one who has to live there. You're the one who has to maintain it and do all the upkeep. But now, what do you do if you decide that you don't really like doing a lot of decorations? Maybe you don't like doing any decorations at all, but you're in a family where everyone, that's like the tradition. You put up all the decorations together, they're all up everywhere. I mean, can you really just cut it away cold turkey? And I would say maybe not. I mean, sit down with your family, talk to them, and say, hey, you know, like, why are we doing this? We should really question this. But it can be a really cool and fun and bonding tradition to all put up decorations together. And if that's something you do, then maybe you do want to keep that. But I would suggest just scaling it down a bit. Like, really look at all of the stuff that you put up. Like, do you really need to climb up on your roof and put lights everywhere and a big blow-up Santa and snowman and reindeer? In my house, we keep it simple. We do put up a Christmas tree and we decorate it with lights and ornaments. And we put up a nativity scene, but we don't go all out putting up just, like, crap everywhere, basically. And we don't hang lights on the outside of the house either, for two reasons. Aaron says we don't do it because we can't afford the electricity, which is true. And I say we don't do it because why would you need to decorate for everyone else instead of yourself? Is that selfish? Is that selfish of me? I mean, I guess it is kind of cool seeing everyone lighting up the outside of their houses, proclaiming Christ is born and all that, but it's just, I don't want to do it. I don't, that doesn't, oh, get it climbing up there, it's cold out. No, no thank you. And that's the thing, you need to decide what's worth it to you. Like, yeah, it might be nice having up decorations, but is it worth all the hassle and the effort to go into that attic, bring them all out, set them all up, then tear them all down? I used to be a big Christmas decorator. Like, I wanted Christmas to be like an explosion of Christmas everywhere. There's a fake Christmas tree in almost every room. Like, counters decorated and snow everywhere and Santa's everywhere, and it was amazing. And I don't necessarily regret doing that. It was fun while I did it, but I'm in a new phase of my life and I'm trying to pare down. So every year, I try to find a few more decorations that can just go by the wayside. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I'm no fan of Santa, despite the hat. But I did used to partake in some St. Nicholas decorations. Uh, this guy is a remnant from those days, and he I'm, just, I'm confused by this because there's a nickel in the bottom. There's, like, do you see that, a nickel? Like, what? what? I don't, is that a tradition in a different country? I, I don't know why it has a nickel. Oh, I should probably take that out before I get rid of it. I mean, it's a nickel. I couldn't cut it as a poor man's <laughs> We may have to have a Santa busting open ceremony in this house to get out this nickel. Here's a Nutcracker that I used to always put up. I really like Nutcrackers. I always liked the Nutcracker Ballet, but Cordelia ripped off his beard and he doesn't really go with any of the decorations we have, so I'm gonna get rid of him. These are window candles that Aaron really, 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 really wanted to get, even though I didn't because I didn't want to have to keep replacing the batteries, but we got them, and it turns out they suck. They're supposed to be really convenient, you just put them on a timer, you don't have to plug them in or anything, and they just go up at nighttime, but they're super dim. Like, they just, because they're not plugged in, they don't, they don't give much light at all, and you could just barely even tell they were there when you pulled into the driveway. And the whole point is to have like, ooh, glowing candles that you see from afar. Not, ooh, there might be some little tiny glowing light in there somewhere. Oh, 
can't even light up my face. Like seriously, this thing's a piece of crap. Something you can do to help you decide what to keep and what to get rid of is to pick a theme for your Christmas decorations. Our theme is Christ's birth. Original, I know. So we try to focus our decorations on things that have to do with the actual birth of Christ. So we have our nativity scene. I try to keep our Christmas ornaments Jesus themed rather than like Santa commercialism themed. We have Christmas angels and that kind of stuff. And yes, yeah, some of the decorations might stray from this theme, but that's our choice and it's okay to break the rules when you make them. The idea is to just have an overall theme that kind of ties it all together and that way you can kind of get rid of the excess things like this nutcracker with no beard. I hope some of this was helpful to you. Remember, Christmas is supposed to be a time of joy and relaxation, not stress. So let me know in the comments below what you do for Christmas decorations and if there's any changes you're thinking about making this year or did make or wish you could make, let me know. I'm interested to see what other people who live intentionally do when they decide what they put up for Christmas. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, keep it simple, question everything, and stay radical. Christmas unicorn, Christmas, I'm the Christmas unicorn, no, no.